All right, so let's go ahead and create a real quick footer down here. Okay, so if I click on our artboard title, we'll go ahead and drag this down just a bit. It's not gonna be a very, you know, very beefy, thick footer as some people like to do. Um, and we're gonna need to use our, uh, our fill color right here, our primary color for it. So let's go ahead and take the rectangle tool, left click and drag, get rid of the border, give us a fill of our primary color. All right, so this works pretty well. I like the color. Um, I think I may wanna take this again and just increase it slightly, just to give us a little bit more room. Oops, wrong one. So we'll drag this down right there. All right, great. So now we really don't need the grid up as long as we have left align this, you know, basically to the, the container uh, from everything that's been there. So we'll take the type tool and good, the guide shows up, so we'll get there well. And I'm just gonna put down here, um, and this right here is a spiffy footer where you can put stuff. <laughs> oh God, the things I come up with. We'll make it white and we will increase the size. Yeah, roughly right on there is fine. Then over here, right aligned, we're gonna have just a Facebook and Twitter icon, which is pretty standard. So if I type in Facebook, we're gonna go ahead and get the name um, we can choose to use, uh, we'll use Facebook official. So we'll grab that name real quick. Right there. That size, uh, we could probably go down just to 50. To generate it, download it, open it up. Show in folder rather. And we'll come down and we'll drag it in. Oops. That's one thing. You're going to make sure that you don't have anything selected when you drag that in. So I'm just going to put it here. Oops. And kind of forgot we need to invert that and make sure that's white. So we'll come back over here, make that white, generate, download, and repeat that annoying process one more time. Perfect. So 50 is pretty much perfect. And if it was too big or a little bit bigger or smaller, it probably would have been off. So I kind of lucked out there. And we'll do that one more time for Twitter. So we'll go back. I'll type in Twitter. And we'll use the Twitter square just to keep things consistent. And so it is FA Twitter square. There it is. And generate. Download it and drag it in. So we'll put it right around here. Make sure this is right aligned. There we go. Maybe move over just a tad bit more. And there we go. That is our very simple example of a web design slash web app landing page. Okay, so basically from this point on now, uh, we also want to do a fact page just to show, for instance, in Angular and React and Vue, you know, how you create different pages. So that will kind of help us. So in the next section, we're gonna go ahead and create that fact page. I'll see you then.